PlayOnPlug.com, and I'm joined by Justin Gary of Gary Games and the creator of Ascension. Now, before we start um, in earnest, I just want to tell you a little bit of the story. Last year at Gen Con, I was milling about, and I see these gigantic posters and signs for Ascension, and I was like, whoa, what is this? And I honestly, I would not been on top of the, like, the deck-building game craze that now is like so pervasive, um, and I sat down for a demo, and I was totally enamored. And uh, we actually reviewed it for Play Unplugged. I really love the game. So, first of all, kudos. Fantastic job. It's a great game. Thank you, man. It's been a real great thing. You know, we re first released the game at Gen Con last year. We had a booth about less than a third of the size of what we have this year. This year, we were able to come back in force. Everybody seen, had such a great response last year. Now we've got the expansion. We've got the I iPhone, iPad app. We've been really able to just come back, run our giant tournaments here. And it's been a, it's been a great experience. It's something that, you know, me and some friends, we put came together. We started a company. We put out a game that we really loved and it's been everybody here seems to really love it too so it's been awesome it, it's it's a really great game it has a really unique mechanic one of the things that immediately attracted me to it the art style um i want to make sure i'm pronouncing his name right if i if i miss if i mispronounce yeah. it please correct me it's eric sabi yep okay um very reminiscent of some of my favorite fantasy artists. I, I think there's a like a lot of a uh, Dear Litsy esque look to it and stuff like that. And I, I just love it. Yeah, I really I fell in love with Eric's work many many years ago. I actually knew him. We both lived in Boston, um, and he's done a ton of pieces. He's done sculptures around California, tons of different paintings. He'd never worked in this industry before, and I knew when I wanted to make my own game, I immediately kind of was like, listen, you know, we want to be a part of this. And he really helped to create the world along with me to be able to kind of create the storyline and the world behind Ascension and create that unique look that his style really brings to life and I, I'm really excited about it and I'll tell you one of the great things was he put this whole thing together a lot of people don't know the whole set over 50 pieces of art he did in less than three months to get the first game done we took, we that's took, wild it's in it's insane and one of the things that was great was in with Return of the Fallen our expansion that just released we were able to give him a lot more time and I think well I think the art in Ascension Chronicle God Series is great Return of the Fallen blows that out of the water he really was able to just really take his style to the next level and it's awesome to see so, um, what you you know, you gave me a perfect segue. One of the things about Ascension that I thought was so great is like, you know, like I'm looking at this art and it's so evocative and it's painting this picture in my mind. Story. Where can we get more information on story? Is there going to be more? Uh, are there going to be more like, uh, like say, fiction pieces or something like that on the website? Because I think there's like there, you know, there's there's this great story going on. I just want to know more. Yeah, we have we have a really rich world behind this, and we only hint at it, you know, in the flavor text on the cards and the art on the cards. We have a story up on our site uh, that was written by uh, Alex Schwartzman that tells a little bit of our backstory. We're going to be putting more things out there, and actually, people here at Gen Con are going to get a chance to be a part of our story. We want to make this a player interactive world. Yeah, this is really cool. Go on. Yeah, so tomorrow we're going to actually have our God Slayer tournament which players can come in. We've got up to 128 players. We're pretty close to the cap at and the winner of that tournament will be dubbed the God Slayer in our world. We're going to make a card with going to use their likeness to inspire the art for it, which will show up in one of our future sets and promos and that will kind of evolve the story arcs forward. Um, so the basic story that started up was, you know, Sam L, this fallen god has come to wreak havoc on the world and you players are trying to become the God Slayer to be able to take him down. And in the expansion and you actually see Sam Mill himself for the first time and can actually try to fight him. And so that's where we thought this one year later after releasing the game, this was a great place to be able to have that God Slayer tournament and let a player become part of our world. That sounds awesome. So one of the other great things about um, uh, about the game in general is the components. Uh, you know, the, unfortunately, from with this camera, from where we are, it's not going to totally do it justice, but the components, everything from the cards, the tokens, to even the playing surface, super high quality. Like, how, how, how did you guys get all that together, get it all produced? Yeah, I mean... In the end, you know, it's just we had a commitment to quality because it's what we wanted to do. I mean, you know, we've all done, we have tons of game design backgrounds. We worked with other companies. This is the first thing that we sort of self-published and put out there and put, you know, I put my name all over the box. So I really wanted it to look good. So we just, you know, made sure that it was high quality stuff. We had really great looking cards where these, you know, a lot of people really love our, uh, our honor this. beads. It's very, just a really sort of unique thing. So funny story behind these is actually I found these originally in an arts and crafts store. They had, you know, you use this kind of stuff for like putting into fish bowls or mm -hmm. using and decorations and I saw them there and we'd used them for uh, a demo before we had real product and people loved them and so we hunted down a factory and found something to make it that way and, and it just ended up working and really coming together nicely so it was just kind of fortuitous like cool little thing that gives it a unique flair.
That's very cool. Now, um, for the people not in the card game know, Justin, you actually have a pretty good card game pedigree. Do you want to talk a little bit about your background? Um, sure, sure. I mean, I you know I used to play uh, Magic the Gathering uh, professionally for a while. I won a U.S. National Championships, won a Pro Tour, um, and you know won the World Team Championships. Uh, so you know I'd kind of been playing cards my whole life. Traveled around the world as a kid, and you know made all my friends, and you know spent all my time thinking about it. And one of the inspirations behind Ascension was myself and other pros. You know, uh, Brian Kibler is in the Magic Hall of Fame. Rob Doherty um, were deciding we really wanted to make a game that could give you that experience of playing a TCG and building a deck without having to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars to build your deck or hours and hours and hours trying to, like, you know, figure out what was going on. And so we, you know, that's really where Ascension came from. It was this idea of, look, I can build by one box, have a half an hour experience that lets me build a deck, play out my strategy, and then, you know, I can put it away or I can shuffle up and play again. And so it's just this really cool thing to kind of take that experience that really dominated the course of my life and made me become a game designer and made all my friends and kind of condense that into one experience that we can, you know, give to other people. Yeah, and now I play, and play up long, we love our CCGs, but at the same time, one of the neat things about an experience like Ascension is it really feels like everyone's on an even playing field and it's kind of a there is definitely luck involved because it's cards you get dealt to or what you can pull yourself but a lot of it is I mean I feel like it's a very skill based game yeah it's one of those things you know you want to find that right balance right yes there's the luck of the draw what cards come up you know you don't always have control over but you can set those things up and you can watch what other players are doing and influence what cards are available and so it's a really cool part of it and you know since everybody starts with exactly the same deck when you start the game you start on an even playing field we also it gives us the opportunity to do cool things like give out promos right if you you give out exclusive promos for a, a TCG, it can be it can really unbalance the game, right? If you have cards I don't have, that's not fair. But now we can give away promos, at, and we do this as a free promotion. If you go to your local stores that are participating, um, we give uh, game days, and we're going to do them. We've been doing them about every other month. We're going to be doing them every month. You get a free promo just for showing up that changes up your game, gives you some cool new game playability, and then you know you have that in your deck for the rest of the time that you play. Anybody that plays with your deck now has access to that card too. So it's this really cool way to give back to stores, get people to play, and change up the game that I really wouldn't be comfortable doing in a TCG. That sounds awesome. So, um, what are some? Are the, what's what's going on in the future? What's the next step for Ascension? What are, what can we look forward to a month from now, a year from now? Sure. So we've got a lot of really cool things going on. If you go to ascensiongame.com and sign up for our newsletter, or you uh, like us on Facebook, you can find out about our game days. And those things are going to have new promos, new cards that you can play with. In addition, we have a new expansion that we're just about to go to print on, which is going to be another big expansion. Uh, similar to the size of our original box, Chronicle of the God Slayer. So over 200 new cards, um, new mechanics, new card types, a lot of really cool stuff. We're really going to flourish and kind of expand what's available. Um, that one is going to be designed more to be played by itself. Uh, Return of the Fallen can be played by itself as a two-player game, but primarily we intend it to be combined with Chronicle of the God Slayer, mm -hmm. shuffled together to play up to six players as sort of a one combined experience. The new one, sort of like a magic block system, will be designed to be played big set by itself, and then another small set to shuffle into that. But what we're really looking forward to is giving players the opportunity to custom create their decks. So now we only have, you know, two, de two piles of cards you can kind of shuffle together. Once we start getting another giant pile of cards, it's going to be hard to shuffle everything together. Yeah, absolutely. I, actually, that was going to be your next question, so yeah. it's perfect. So what we're intending to pe have people do is we'll design them in blocks so you can do big set, small set, shuffle them together, big set, small set, shuffle them together. But what we're going to do is let fans create their own custom decks, right? Create your own custom 100-card deck, 150-card deck of what is the Ascension experience you want. Do you want a lot more constructs and less ways to destroy them? Do you want a lot more monsters and make it more, more brutal? Do you want to create some new combos and stuff that really make the experience your own? Just like you really want to do when you play a TCG, you want to you know, create the style of play you want. Once we have enough cards out there with three, four sets out, players are going to be able to do that, and we'll post the best deck lists on our website and let people play it, right? You can actually create the experience yourself, so you get the fun of crafting your own game inside the world of a non-collectible game, which has really been very hard to do before this, so that's, it just takes a certain amount of cards out in the market to make that happen, so once we release a couple more sets, I really am looking forward to seeing what fans do and what you get to be the game designer to craft the game that you and your friends are going to play. Awesome. Justin, it sounds like there's a lot of really exciting things going on with Ascension. Um, people are loving it. Any uh, final words for 
for the fans of Play Unplugged. Yeah, I got to say, you know, it, uh, one of the things, you know, I know this is unplugged and this is non, uh, you know, non-electronic games primarily, but we have, you know, Ascension on iOS right now has been a huge hit for us. We, You know, it's a really great translation. We work with Incinerator Studios, a fantastic studio, to make the game. You know, one of the goals of Ascension was to make, take the deck building genre, where most of the games that are deck building games take an hour, hour and a half to set up and then play. Ascension only took half an hour to set up and play, right? Super fast, can bust it out, have a good time. On the iPhone, it takes five minutes to play. It's super fast, super clean. We're going to be releasing the expansion on the iPhone as an in-app purchase very soon. We're going to be updating it with new features. Um, so if you have that, you can play either against the AI, you can play with your friends either live or via you know push notifications like Words with Friends style. And it's just a really fun way to be able to connect and play the game in a whole new level. And we've really expanded out our audience to people who'd never played board games or card games before, and they're coming up to us at the show saying, oh, I checked this out on iPhone, and now I really want to play these board games. And so there's just a whole new world out there. So if you have a chance, check it out. Bring in your non-gamer friends, right? Convince them, oh, no, it's just a little iPhone game, and then they'll get hooked and start playing card games too. Well, that sounds awesome. Anything that opens the door for more on Plug Gaming, I'm totally, uh, I'm totally all for. So that's great. Justin, thank you. Wonderful thank you interview. Thank you very much.